Hey, Vegas. Hey, girl. There's Scout. Scout. Let me give Scout lovin's. I'm headed to the garden with the cheapest beer they had. I went through the drive-thru and that's what they gave me. And we're gonna go and deal with slugs in our garden again. Brought some more containers out. I've already got a couple. My eggshells, which I had been putting out. So headed down to the garden, go kill some slugs. And look who's in the front yard. Y'all see that? He got out again last night. Levi and the boys are headed out here in a little bit um, to put the electric fence inside the wooden fence because we moved him and he knows he can bust through that wooden fence and he does it every evening. I come out here last night and he was out here. So we're gonna put the hot wire inside the wooden fence and the area of the paddock that we had him in with the hot wire across the street there, across our driveway. We're gonna bush hog it because there's little sprigs of grass that they didn't eat. So, yeah. Hi, hey, Henry. Are you happy? Normally he's out by the fruit trees. He's never right here this close to the house. What are you doing? We didn't feed you no groceries. So you busted out. He knows when he gets out that we use grain or feed to put them back in. <laughs> what'd, you come to, what'd you come to such a stop for, buddy? <laughs> you see a 2,000 pound problem, don't you? <laughs> he is absolutely destroying the wooden fences. Hey, Levi. What? <clears throat> uh, Big Henry is right here beside the trucks. I'll have to make it down to the garden a little bit. I think most people would be scared. Be scared. <laughs> what are we doing? How much do you love our bowl? Every night when I come to do chores, he's out there feeding the wooden fence. He's looking for it, and we just gave him a little bitty bit. That's it. needs some boots. The muck boots that are really tall, his legs are pretty thick. He has a hard time getting them off and on. So I guess this was an old pair of waders. Mm -hmm. Now see if you can get those off. Oh yeah. Ride and mm -hmm. conquer. What are you going? You're going to do electric fence now? We're all Cases electric. go got boots up. I'm going to the garden to take care of slugs. Just about a quarter of an inch from today. see all those which this is filled with some rainwater too but you'll see those slugs down in there they were eating my marigolds completely chomping them down 
you know, along with the peppers and stuff, but I've never had them get into my marigolds and my zinnias. I'll show you in a minute. See those slugs in there? Had one more. Oh, I know we're here. Yeah. Look at all those. Sturgeons, are those not so pretty? Those are beautiful flowers. So tropical looking. I had seeds soaking in this and brought them down. Having to put everything in pots and start it, um, I tried my beans probably three times direct sowed in the ground. And cucumbers as well. And with all the rain that we're getting right now, they're just rotting or mushing in the ground. I have had to start growing stuff in pots and then transplanting it out. So I've not got just everything in my garden the way that I would want it right now. This area definitely needs some beer. then my zinnias. Look what they're doing to my zinnias. Hopefully about a week of doing this every other day unless it rains, which it rains every day it seems like. Beer should be fine for a couple of days and hopefully seven dollars will take care of it because that's how much this cost. I think I'm just gonna leave. There's a little bit left in this can. I think I'm just gonna leave the can. Maybe it'll crawl down in there. My garden is definitely not anywhere uh, to the point that I thought it would be or that it normally is by, what, almost June. This is like the 27th of May and I know everybody's struggling. So it's just not been a very good year for gardening. If this is your first year to try to put out a garden, uh, whether you just decided you wanted to or you're trying to do it for the circumstances that we're in for a little bit more food security, don't give up. Don't think that this is normal because it is not normally this hard every year. Yes, you've got good years, you've got bad years, and this is just one of those harder bad years. So if you're new to gardening, don't get discouraged because even the people that have been gardening for a long time, I'm not a professional at gardening. I do have a couple of years, several years under my belt. Uh, it's a tough year. Just don't give up. Keep trying, keep replanting the stuff. Just keep going and, and it'll it'll get better. Watch my last garden tour video. If you missed it, I'll link it above. My sunflowers are starting to come up everywhere. So hopefully that turns out to be beautiful before too long. Got one cabbage over here, which it's got quite a, quite a bit of damage from the insects on it. But because we had such a hot and then cool, hot and then cool springtime, most of my cabbage and broccoli didn't make it, but I've got this one and it's starting to form a little head on it. So it's taking up a lot of space. That's almost that whole raised bed. I don't really like cabbage, Levi does. So I'm hoping to at least get one cabbage head for him this year. It won't be long. We'll be eating my favorite Probably my favorite vegetable that I grow in the garden, squash. If you checked out my video on canning squash, I'll link that above as well. I kind of thought I didn't like it. I didn't like it just poured into a saucepan with a little butter and sauteed. It was a little too mushy, but I made a squash casserole with it. We actually ate the leftovers tonight. We had pork chops that was grown here on our farm from our own pork, and we had leftover squash casserole. It was probably not the healthiest option, but it was really good. So I probably will preserve a little bit more squash this year in the garden. The squash casserole is probably not something that I would have on the menu very often. Uh, probably just, you know, once every couple of months or so, but it was a really good alternative to use up my canned squash. I'm glad that I did find something to use the canned squash for because anything that you can have shelf stable on your pantry like that, and like I said, it simmered on the stove. It was okay. I could eat it that way. Uh, but I'm not going to put a lot of effort into canning a lot of stuff that we're just 
gonna pick over and not eat a lot of. This gives me a reason to can a little bit more squash this year and that's good. Let's go check and see what the boys are doing and if they've got the electric fence down yet. has to come check on what's going on, don't you? Huh? Want my help or not? Will you be any help? <laughs> Would you believe the nerve of him to say that? What? I know, I know what those claws hurt. Look who thinks they're getting some food. Yeah. And I don't have nothing for y'all to eat. So got some food right here. Y'all must not want that. We're taking all this fence down in this pasture. You can see just the little sprigs uh, that they've left behind. We're gonna bush hog all this. Um, could you build milk big mama? Mm, probably not. It's her horns is not shorter. Mm, yeah, you could get her in a stanchion, but not with those horns. Everybody's gotta get on the inside. We all gotta oh. get in there with Big Henry? Everybody's gotta get in here with Big Henry. You go. Take off walking that way, all the way to the gate. All the way to the corral? Yeah. I guess I'm going with mom. No, you're going to stay here and help me. Oh, man. <laughs> to get some clover started in here and get rid of these buttercups a little bit more. Uh, the buttercups are just getting a little bit thicker every season. I believe I put it up some nails. For his electric fence for Henry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take more. And she's all the way. And there. Her stuff. For now, we're doing this. With us all the way over here, so she's pulling that electric fence with that little handle. And with the sunset with some cows and horses. There like that, and then just lay it down. See, it locks it in. Mm -hmm. Put it in every one of them up through there. Now we gotta go all the way back up there. The edges cut in. Let me see. Oh yeah, they are. Probably had to wear tall socks with them. We're gonna have to get rid of our bull really soon. Actually, we may let him breed the mamas back in a couple of months and then get rid of him. If we don't switch out bulls, he's gonna end up uh, not being able to breed half of our cows back because it'll be his daughters and things like that. So I hate to get rid of him because other than breaking out of the fence, he's extremely docile and gentle. I've never been afraid in the fences with him like he's in here with us right now and some bulls are just not that way so i hate to get rid of him he was our first bull i really wanted the herford i loved the face i love the curly face of him as little herd of cows as we've got we could probably get by with just renting a bull from one of our local people here and i'm come over for a couple of weeks versus feeding that, that big old monster all winter long because he eats a lot of groceries but we haven't fully made that decision yet. <laughs> Put your regular shoes back on. Riding with me? Yeah. Where were you out? You made it, didn't you? You better go catch a ride. Go. You can't 
right ride on here. Go catch your ride. No, you can't get up here. Oh. <laughs> We can't off it on the four wheeler. So what are you doing? All the slack up. We didn't have enough room for it all on the reel. So we're just gonna pull it through and just work it around this fence. As y'all can see, we are losing daylight. It is almost dark outside. We're gonna go feed the catfish real quick. I've got to check the turkey's water. All this craziness kind of come up. We planned on putting that fence up, taking the other one down. We just plan didn't plan on doing it at this exact moment, which we should have known that Big Henry was going to get out again. So it put all our normal evening chores delayed, and we're going to be doing those in the dark. I'll finish video in just a little bit more. Y'all stay tuned for another vlog. I think I'm going to just kind of start trying to grab the camera a little bit more and taking it along with me, even though we're not doing anything spectacular. Y'all seem to like kind of hanging out with us in our everyday life. So this is just a normal night, isn't it? Yeah. I will leave y'all with video of us feeding the fish. We'll go see if we can find Coco's baby. Yeah. And we're going to go find a new calf's baby. Until the next vlog, y'all have a good one. God bless. See you later.